and welcome back to my channel uh, if you're already a subscriber thank you for this sub and if you're not go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any of my videos that I will be uploading and today I will be making a coconut cake with pineapple filling I have already pre-measured out my ingredients for you and I'm going to show you what all it takes for this cake you will be using two cups of all-purpose flour, a tablespoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of salt, a half cup of unsalted butter, a 13.5 ounce can of coconut milk, which will be divided into halves, one and a half cup of coconut extract, and five large egg whites. Okay, in a bowl, you're going to whisk together your flour, your baking powder, and your salt. Just combine it together. Make sure it all get all Combine good, and after you do this, you're just going to set this aside. Next, you're going to beat the butter until fluffy on medium speed for about three minutes until light and fluffy. Okay, now that's light and fluffy. You're gonna add the sugar and let it go for one minute. Okay, if that's mixed for about one minute, you're going to take one and one-fourth cup of the coconut milk and coconut extract and mix. I'm going to add the milk. And the coconut, coconut extract to the mix. Next, you're going to gradually add your flour mixture to the mix. And mix. 
mix it on medium speed for two minutes. Let that go for two minutes on medium speed. Okay, next I changed bowls and I changed attachment and I'm going to beat the egg whites until they are stiff. And hopefully this bowl works. It's not the one for the mixer, but it's pretty heavy so it shouldn't fly off until I get a different bowl. But here I go. So far so good. It's not trying to fall off. It's a pretty heavy bowl. I'm glad I didn't get rid of it. So I was gonna give it away. Something told me to keep it so it worked out. Alright, we're gonna let these go. For about three minutes I'm gonna come back and let you see when they are still okay I had to change bowls that one was a little large and the egg whites the whip couldn't really reach the egg whites but you can see they can, they're forming they're getting stiff peaks on them I gotta invest in another bowl They're coming along quite nicely. Okay, let's do a quick check right quick. I'm going to turn the mixer off. And lift it up. And see how they look. Let me get a spoon. Something to stick in there right quick fork maybe. See how stiff they are. They're pretty stiff. Let me let them go about another minute or two. I'm going to take these egg whites and fold it over in the batter. Turn it up a little higher. Okay, as you can see, they are good and stiff now. I'm gonna let you see. I don't even have to pull a fork in them to test it. You can see how it's stuck to the whip. Okay, next you're going to fold the egg whites into the batter until it's good and incorporated. Okay. Just gonna put them in here and gently fold it. Not stirring. Just fold it. That's not a whole lot of the egg whites. Here's the rest right here. I got this one handed thing going on here, so it's kind of hard for me to pour it. Thank you. 
where it wipes. See if I flip the rest in here from the bowl. Just gonna fold the egg whites into the batter. Okay, now I have the batter in two nine inch non stick pans, and I'm gonna place them in the oven on 350 degrees for 23 to 28 minutes or until the toothpicks insert come out clean. Or, you know, when the cake is brown, it's ready. Don't over bake it because you don't want your cake to be dry. Okay, the cakes are out of the oven. They are cooling, and I will assemble them with the frosting next. Okay, to make your pineapple filling, you will need a 20 ounce can of crushed pineapple, a two third cup of white granulated sugar, and two tablespoons of cornstarch. Then you're gonna combine all three ingredients in a medium saucepan over medium heat and stir well until combined. You're gonna cook this stirring frequently until the mixture thickens and looks real glossy for about five to eight minutes. Then you're gonna pour the filling into a Tupperware, place a piece of plastic wrap, wrap gently over the top and allow it to cool. But I will not be placing plastic wrap over mine. I'm gonna allow my mixture to cool because I will be using it immediately. Okay, my pineapple mixture has been going for about five minutes now and it's thickening. I can kinda of feel the stickiness at the bottom of the saucepan so I know it's doing right. I have about two and a half more minutes or so to go on it. But I think I'm gonna stop it at right at two because it's looking the way they want it to look. Um, it has a glossy shine to it. And it's thick, it's getting thick. Take that off, off the heat and let it cool. Okay, this is how your filling should look. Once it's ready, it's kind of um, thick and glossy. And we're gonna let that cool. And once it's cool, it will be spread between the cakes once they are ready. 